Hi there, my name is Dylan McDowell, and I'm here to show you how to use the averaging features on your Vanta handheld analyzer. Averaging lets you generate an average result from multiple test results, and can be done so even through live testing, which lets you generate a live average of multiple results as you take them, or through historical averaging, which lets you generate a result from historic test results. For now, let's take a look at live averaging. To access the averaging features, log in uh, and have the method selected that you wish to do testing it, bring down the drop-down menu, and select the option for multiple tests. From here, in the options, select the drop-down, and select the option for average. Here, there are several options available to you to create an average. Manual stop will let you manually generate an average from set test results as you take them. In addition to that, we have automatic options, such as auto stop, which will automatically generate an average after the set number of tests in the field to the right there. Auto alert functions similar to that, but will alert you and give you the option to generate an average or skip generating an average after that set number of test results. For now, let's select the option for manual stop. If we go back to the screen here, we should now see an option for averaging in the bottom of the screen there. Let's take some test results to generate an average. As we generate tests, those results will start to appear in the bottom averaging pane here. The checkboxes next to them will let you select which test results you want to use in generating the average. Once you've selected all the ones you want, press the averaging icon on the right-hand corner here. And with that, we've generated an average result. You'll notice that the average result has an A suffix at the end of the result number. That lets you know that it's an average result. So that's live averaging. In addition to that, you can also generate a historic average from previous test results. To do that, we'll need to go to the Browse Results feature in the drop-down menu. In here, the results are organized uh, via date and test result number. Simply use the drop-downs to select the date and results that you wish to average. Select them with the checkboxes to the left-hand side. When you select the results that you want to generate an average of, press the averaging icon in the bottom right-hand corner. And with that, we've generated a new average result. And that's it. That's how easy it is to generate an average result on your Vanta handheld analyzer. Thanks for watching.